The Bickford Theater at the Morris Museum is going to be launching a brand new film series, screenings with top short films, cinematic excursions, great art. Classic films will be part of this as well. The films will be shown on Wednesday evenings, which the first one is this coming Wednesday, and will feature commentary from experts in their respective fields. And joining me now on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline is the executive director of the Bickford Theater Film Festival, and you might know her from another uh, very well-known film festival that she has been uh, working on for for decades now. Let's welcome in Jane Stewart-Wald back to WCTC this morning. Hi, Jane. It's Bert Barron. How are you? Good morning, Bert. I'm great. How is Everybody in uh, New Jersey today. We're good. We're good. And thank you so much uh, for your time this morning. Uh, This is exciting stuff, uh, a brand new film series, which will be kicking off at the Bickford Theater in Morristown. Now, your film series that goes back to the early 80s, uh, Black Maria, which has been uh, renowned and and people all over the world know your film festival. Talk about about this one that's so important in Bickford uh, at Morristown. Talk about why this one is, is so special. Well, we're really, really honored to be working with the Bickford Theater um, at the Morris Museum. Um, The theater is just really astonishing and and a beautiful place to see music and art um, and now film for the first time. So um, hats off to the people at the Bickford for, um, you know, instituting this new film series. And I couldn't be happier that the Black Mariah Film Festival will be the kickoff program. How about that? It's all the top winners uh, for your film festival that yes. are going to be part of the opening program uh, on uh, on Wednesday. There's one film here that caught my eye, if you could mm-hmm. give me some details on this, Jane. It's called The Last Projectionist. And uh, uh, when I see the title, I think it's sort of like uh, you know someone who's struggling to uh, survive in, in a very modern world. Is that kind of what The Last Projectionist is all about? Well, yes and no. I would say that uh, this guy, um, who is sort of the central figure in the film, is really bright and and interesting and has tons of ideas about this uh, change that we're making in technology from projecting actual film to digital. And this is something that film theaters all over the country and the world have been confronting. Um, what's really special about this film, though, is that it focuses on a drive-in theater, two drive-ins in particular in upstate New York, which are two of the last in the country. Um, you know, years ago in the 50s, those of us who are still around and remember going to the drive-in, there were thousands of drive-in theaters across the United States, um, over 4,000. And now there's less than 400. Um, and, you know, it's really kind of cool that there are still um, these two theaters left in uh, Hyde Park and in Poughkeepsie, New York. So um, The Last Projectionist is about their challenge to change over from projecting 35-millimeter film at the drive-in to digital, and they had to make that decision in order to stay afloat. But The Projectionist is just really smart and um, has a lot of uh, compassion and love for uh, film history. And what he's done is he's taken some of the trailers that were originally shot on film, you know, the um, the little opening uh, film uh, projections that we all perhaps remember to get us to go to the snack bar and buy popcorn, and he's transferred all of those to digital. So um, they can still live on in the theaters regardless. That's and a it's classic. It's really fun. Yeah. That's like the uh, the hot dog and the popcorn exactly. box are animated, and they're walking and smiling and dancing, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, let's go to the snack bar, sure. Exactly. It's great. So he's not, you know, he's uh, a really bright guy, and he knows how to, you know, he does digital projection, too. But I, I love the, you know, the uh, comparison between knowing and understanding digital, but still having the love for the film. Excellent. And that's among the uh, selections yeah. that will be shown on Wednesday night for the opening right. night of the Bickford Theater Film Series uh, that uh, Jane will be there. She's the executive director, and she will be the MC for the program as well. Uh, some of the other films being shown on Wednesday, an animated film uh, uh, called Oh My. Uh, also, yeah, oh, it's lovely. Yeah? Tess Martin is an amazing animator. She's not an expat, but she also lives um, abroad in Rotterdam and comes to the United States back and forth all the time. One of the most inventive animators that um, I've seen within the last uh, five years or so. 
Um, her film is really lovely. It, it's a really terrific selection. And, Bert, you know what's kind of important? This is our last uh, screening in 2017. You know, we travel across the country. Mm-hmm. We always kick off the festival at the beginning of the calendar year in uh, February and, um, and then hit the road, you know, throughout New Jersey, Maine, Florida, Iowa, California, all over the place. And um, this Wednesday is our last uh, screening of short films in New Jersey. Wow. So I really hope everyone takes advantage of this this program, which is great. But the Bickford Theater is really top shelf. Yeah, excellent stuff. And the series, uh, again, will kick off on Wednesday and will wind up uh, next May. So there's a lot of opportunities to see some of these great films uh, that are going to oh, be part yeah. of the brand new film series with the Bickford Theater. You could always visit the website uh, for information, Bickford Theater, or uh, morrismuseum.org. Again, morrismuseum.org uh, for information. And uh, in just a few moments, uh, Jane, I want to give away some tickets uh, to the opening night on Wednesday. Oh, How does boy. that sound? Okay, well, I hope everyone comes out, and Bert, I can't thank you enough. Sure, sure. Congratulations with this, and have some fun. And Jane, thank you for... Uh, your experience in working with film festivals and making the one here in Morristown a success. It's going to be just terrific with you at the helm. So thank you for your time this morning. All right. My pleasure.